Hello mga kawaumat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about chords, arcs, and central angles. So, i-discuss natin yung relationship ng chords, arc, and angles or the central angles. So, first, let us define first what is a circle. A circle is a set of all points in a plane which are a given distance r from a given point on the plane. So, kagaya ng nakikita nyo sa uh, right side, yung figure natin sa right side, that is an example of a circle, the fixed point A is called the center. So, itong point A natin, ang tawag natin dyan is the center of the circle. And yung R, itong uh, segment na to, that is the radius. Okay? So, yung, uh, yung line na yan from the center to any point of the circle, so ang tawag natin dyan is yung radius. And then, uh, pinapangalanan natin yung circle doon sa point na nasa center. Since yung point na nasa center ng circle natin is point A, so ang name ng circle natin dito is circle A. Okay? A chord is a segment joining two points on a circle. Again, pag sinabi natin chord, this is a segment joining two points. Okay? Joining two points on a circle. So, for example, in this figure, A is the center of the circle. So, kung kukunin natin yung mga chord ng, sa figure na to, so, tatandaan natin kapag yung chord, hindi siya dapat yung isang point ay nandun sa uh, another side ng circle, hindi dapat nandito sa gitna. Kasi kapag ito, yung line na to, ito ay radius. So, hindi siya chord. Dapat, yung isang point nandun sa other part ng circle. Okay? So, dapat wala sa center. So, for example, yung BE. Okay? So, itong BE, so, that is an example of a chord. Okay? And also, yung CE or yung EC natin. Halimbawa rin yan ng chord. CD or DC ito. CD or DC ay halimbawa rin yan ng chord. And also, yung BC natin or yung CB. So, ito yung BC din natin ay tinatawag rin nating diameters. So, kapag uh, yung chord o yung line na to ay hinati yung circle natin. So, ang tawag natin dyan is diameter. Again, yung AD natin ay hindi natin siya pwedeng uh, tawagin chord. Kasi class, yung isang point ay nasa uh, center ng circle. Also, yung AC hindi rin siya chord. Okay? Kasi yung isang point niya nasa center. So, tandaan kapag nag-name tayo ng chord, so dapat yung isang point, okay? Uh, it, uh, basta yung isang point nasa kabilang part or nasa isang part ng circle. Hindi dapat nasa center ng circle. A minor arc is an arc smaller than a semicircle. So, a chord, a central angle, or an inscribed angle may divide a circle into two arcs. The larger of the two arcs is called the major arc. The measure of a major arc is the difference between 360 and the measure of its related minor arc. So, halimbawa, meron tayong chord. Meron tayong chord na, okay, itong uh, line BC natin or yung second BC natin. So, itong naka-red na to, yan yung minor arc natin. At itong malaking part na to, ng circle, that is the major arc. So, tatandaan natin, ang sukat lagi ni minor arc ay laging mas mababa sa 180 degree. So, laging less than sa 180 degree. At si major arc, yung sukat niyan lagi ay laging greater than sa 180 degree. Okay, so, yung arc BC natin dito, itong nakare, that is our minor arc. Also, ma, uh, mahati rin natin yung circle natin into two arcs kapag may central angle tayo. Okay, yung naka-inscribe na arc dito sa uh, central angle natin, so ito yung minor arc natin. Okay, so ito yung minor arc natin at ito, ito yung major arc natin. So, kapag may given tayo sa central angle na 50 degree by the way class, ang measure pala ng central angle ay equal 
sa intercepted arc niya. Okay? So, halimbawa, ito ay 50 degree. So, yung arc BC natin ay 50 degree din. Okay? So, and then, again, ang sukat ng circle natin ay 360 degree. So, kung may given yung arc BC natin at pinapahanap sa inyo yung major arc, so, ang gagawin lang natin, isusubtract lang natin yung given natin from 360 degree. So, again, yung buong sukat ng circle natin ay 360 degree. And also, kapag may inscribed angle tayo, so kapag may sinabi nating inscribed angle, yung vertex niya sa nasaan? So, any point of the circle, hindi sa center. Kasi kapag ang vertex ng angle natin nasa center, yun yung central angle. Pero kapag yung vertex ng angle natin ay nasa uh, any point of the uh, circle, so, yun ay inscribed angle. And then, Malalaman natin inscribe angle sa class kasi yung uh, dalawang segment niya ito yung segment nato saka ito ay yan ay chord hindi kagaya sa central angle na yung itong line na to that is the radius of the circle okay yun ang pinagkaiba nila kapag inscribe angle naman kung ang measure naman ng inscribe angle class kalahati lagi siya nito Okay? Kung ano yung sukat ng central angle natin, half yung sukat ng inscribed angle. Or, half siya nitong arc BC natin. Okay, for example, uh, mag-name tayo ng 4 minor arc sa figure na to. So, again, kapag minor arc, so pwede nating uh, makita using the chord, using the central angle, and the inscribed angle. Okay, ito meron tayong chord dito. Okay, so yung BE natin o yung EB, so yung minor arc natin dyan is yung arc BE. Okay, yung arc BE, ano pa? Yung BD din is an example of minor arc kasi uh, yung BAD is a central angle. So ito ay minor arc and uh, yung isa, the major arc. Yung CD rin natin, ito, yung CD or DC is an example of minor arc kasi central angle yung DAC natin. And then yung EC, ito yung arc AC natin is an example of minor arc kasi uh, ito naman ay inscribed sila, no? Inscribed angle to. Okay, ngayon, uh, mag-name naman tayo ng three major arcs given the figure. So, ano yung mga major arcs? So, kung nakuha natin yung minor arcs kanina, so yung major arcs madali lang kunin. Like for example, we have BCE. Okay? Yung B C E. So kapag major arcs class, kailangan three letters. Okay? B C E kasi class ah uh, uh, ito yung major arc B C E kasi yung minor arc natin is yung uh, EB or yung BE natin, yung arc EB. Okay, another example of major arc is yung BCD. B, okay, so dito start tayo, BCD. Okay, BCD. So, kung ito ay yung inscribed angle natin, so ito yung, ano nyo? Ito yung uh, minor arc, so yung major arc natin is BCD. Okay, another example is yung CBD. C, B, D. Okay? Okay, yung C, B, D kasi uh, using the central angle na C, A, D or using the chord na C, D. So, yung minor arc natin is C, D. Tapos, yung may, uh, isa, so, therefore, yung major arc natin is C, B, D or D, B, C. Pwede rin. Okay, a central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So, the measure of a central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, again, so masasabi natin yung central angle kapag yung vertex niya o yung point uh, ng vertex natin ay nasa center of the circle. So, in the illustration, angle PCQ is an example of central angle, angle QZR, and angle RZP are central angles. So, like for example, 
uh, mag-name tayo ng dalawang central angle sa figure na to. So, ano yung mga example ng central angle? So, we have angle BAD, BAD, and then angle uh, CAD or DAC. So, meron pa bang iba? So, wala na, no? Dalawa lang yung central angles natin dito kasi yung iba inscribed angles na. Okay, an inscribed angle is an angle with its vertex on the circle and its side contains the end points of a chord. The measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So like for example, we have the inscribed angle, yung ABC natin. Yung angle ABC is an example of inscribed angle. Ngayon, uh, kapag kukunin daw natin yung measure ng angle ABC natin, that is one half ng sukat ng intercepted arc natin na AC. So again, so yung circle o yung circle o natin has the inscribed angle ABC and the other endpoints. So ito yung mga endpoints natin yung A and C define the intercepted arc of the circle. So kagaya ng binanggit ko kanina, kapag kukunin natin yung measure ng inscribed angle natin that is one half ng measure ng central angle natin. Okay? Or yung sukat ng intercepted arc. Okay, name the arc in which angle X is inscribed. Okay? So, pangalanan na natin yung arc kung saan yung angle X natin is inscribed. So, ito yung angle X natin. So, that is, ito yung angle niya. So, ano yung uh, arc na naka-inscribed dyan? That is EC. Okay? Kasi diba ito yun? Uh, angle EBC or angle X. So, yung arc na naka-inscribed is yung arc EC or CE. Name the arc which uh, angle Y intercepts. So, yung angle Y natin, ito yun, di ba? So, ito yung angle Y natin. So, ano yung arc na naka-intercept sa kanya? So, ito. Okay? Yung arc BC. Okay? Next. Name the angle inscribed in arc DCB. So, yung arc DCB natin. Asa yung arc DCB natin? DCB. Okay. So, kung ito yung arc DCB natin, ano yung angle? Okay. Arc DCB. So, ano yung angle class? So, pwede. That is DCB. Okay. So, that is angle DCB then Pwede. Okay. Angle BCD or angle DCB. Next. Name the arc which angle ECD intercepts. Okay, so angle ECD. Asan yan? Angle ECD. Uh, so, in, pangalanan daw natin yung arc. Angle ECD. So, ito ay inscribed angle, no? So, that is ED. Okay, so ED or DE. Next. Name the angle inscribed in arc BDE. So, yung arc BDE natin, so ito yon arc BDE. Okay, arc BDE, so ano yung angle na naka-inscribe? So, that is uh, BCE or ECB. Okay, so BCE or ECB. Alright, another if the measure of angle CED, so saan yung CED na yan? CED, so ito, central angle natin. So, find the following. So, first yung arc CD natin. Ito. So, kung itong CAD, that is a central angle, tapos pinapahanap yung intercepted arc na CD. So, kanina nabanggit ko na ang sukat ng uh, intercepted arc yung, sa central angle natin ay equal sila. So kung 120 degree yung 100 uh, angle CAD, so yung the measure of CD natin or the measure of central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So therefore, the measure of angle CED is equal to the measure of arc CD and that is 120. Next, ko ang measure ng uh, CAD natin 120, ano daw yung measure ng angle DAB. 
Okay, kung ito ay 140, so kung 140 to, ano ang sukat naman nitong angle na to? Since ito ay semicircle, kapag semicircle na to class, that ibig sabihin that is 120 ang buong sukat niya. Okay? <clears throat> so ang isang kalahati niya ay 180 din. So focus lang tayo dito sa isang half of the circle. Kung ito ay 140 na, so ilan ang sukat nitong angle na to? Angle DAB. So magma-minus lang tayo. Yes. Since the degree measure of semicircle is 180, so magsusubtract lang tayo. 180 minus the measure of CAD. And that is 180 minus 120. The answer is 60. So ibig sabihin, yung angle DAB natin ay 60. And what is the measure of arc DCB? So saan yung arc DCB natin? Arc DCB. So, ito ay major arc. No? DCB. So, yung buong sukat nito. Yung buong sukat nito, maliban lang dito. So, alam natin na ang buong circle, ang measure nito ay 360. And then, alam natin na ito ay 60 degree. Kanina, nakuha na natin. Di ba? Ang uh, angle net na DAB ay 60 degree. So, equal din siya sa uh, arc na BD. So, 60 din to. Kung ang buong sukat ng circle ay 360, so minus na lang natin. 360 minus 60, so ang sukat ng DCB natin ay 300. Another, what is the measure of BEC? Okay, what is the measure of BEC? Ayan, B, uh, yung arc BEC natin. BEC. So, uh, that is semicircle, so therefore, madali lang yan. A semicircle is associated with half of the rotation, which is 180 degree. So, ang sukat niya is 180. So, if arc CD is 140, find Z, yung angle Z natin. Okay, so, if the measure of arc CD, ito ay 140, so 140 to, find the angle Z. So, inscribe angle siya. So, uh, base sa definition natin kanina, ang inscribed angle ay half ng sukat nitong intercepted arc natin. Tama? So, 140. So, kung 140 ito, ito ay 60. So, therefore, yung angle Z natin is, uh, again, so 140 and then ito ay, so, since 180 pala yung buong sukat ng isang semicircle, so kung ito ay 140 na, so ito ay 40. Tama? So, kalahati ng 40, that is 20. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.